right, you guys, so we just got a dog in the kennel right now that one of my staff adopted and pulled from a kill shelter. Knows absolutely nothing. I'm gonna get this dog out and show you guys exactly how I would start a dog on all the basic new stuff. Let's go. All right, you guys, so this is Duke. So he was pulled from a kill shelter and he's roughly six month old. Obviously, he's gotta gain some weight. Um, he's very timid, he's very insecure, but this is a perfect opportunity for you guys to see like the way that we work with dogs, the way that I specifically work with dogs is very discretionary on the dog. There is no, uh, this is exactly what we do with every single dog because every single dog is different. So this dog is going to be adoptable as well. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description below where you guys, if you're interested in him, obviously he's in upstate New York. He's gonna come with free training and we're gonna start training with him today. So he probably is hungry but because he's nervous and insecure, he's not gonna take food. Any dog that is this skinny that won't take food is obviously just nervous. So right now he's in this fight or flight. He doesn't know anybody, he definitely doesn't know me, he doesn't know where he's at. So he's not gonna be good with you know, taking treats or anything because he's just too nervous. What's up here? So we're gonna introduce a little leash pressure to him. Good. Duke, 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 yes. So what I'm doing right now, guys, is just changing directions. Come, good. And what this does is it gives us an opportunity to start to develop leash pressure, but it also develops a relationship of follow the leader. Good, good boy. I also have a martingale collar here, which we're gonna pop on too, because we might wanna do some long line work. And right now, again, I'm just trying to get him comfortable. I'm just starting to, just helping him understand how to pick up the things I'm putting down. Hey man, follow me this way, great job. Follow me this way, great job. But at the same time, it's also introducing some leash pressure to him as well. Yes, good boy. On the contrary of what you might believe of, let's give this dog no boundaries, love, toys, let him do whatever he wants so he can get comfortable. What this dog actually needs coming from somebody who really specializes in behavior modification is he needs direction. He needs somebody to step in and say, hey man, we're gonna go this way. And he's like, oh, we are? So that's what I'm doing with him right now. It's very normal for dogs to do this. He's putting on the brakes. But what, he, what he's going to end up doing is he's going to end up taking a step forward and understanding how to turn off this pressure through negative reinforcement, which is the first step to leash pressure. Yes, good boy, good job. And I'm using tons of positive reinforcement to help guide him through this scenario. So I'm gonna switch him to a long line, which, which will give me an opportunity to get further away from him. And, and this is helpful, I have found in my experience because it kind of eliminates that frustration and that conflict. And, and what I mean conflict is he's like, no, I can't do this. But if I go 20 feet away from him, he might scurry to catch up to me. So I'm just gonna start with the place command and then the threshold that includes with the place. So what this will do is obviously teach him place, micro, little picture. The bigger picture is his threshold. Hey man, you can't get off that place until I physically and verbally release you with the break command. Place. Yes, buddy, good place. Break. Good boy, nice work. Place. Yes, good place. Good. Good boy. No, 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 no. Place. Good place, buddy. This is what a lot of you guys are dealing with at home. A dog that was pulled from a shelter or rescued from a shelter that you have, and it's not like the videos you see on YouTube. These are dogs that aren't gonna work the way that normal dogs do in a clinical studio setting. This is a dog that is shutting down because he's nervous. He doesn't know me, he doesn't know his environment. So this is as real as it gets. So he didn't really love the small impact crate. So I'm gonna put him in the bigger crate. We're gonna let him hang out in there. All right, guys, we're gonna get him back out, do a little bit more work with him. So we're just gonna use thresholds at the door. Again, it's the same thing. It's, hey man, you gotta wait for my permission and make sure that he doesn't fly out. No. Okay, break, break. Good job, buddy. Duke, place. Good place, good, yes. Good boy, yes, good boy. Good job, buddy. Good, so that was absolutely monumental. Him taking food for me for the first time is huge. Now we're in business. Now we can start training. 
Yes, good, stay. Break, good, stay. Good, stay. Okay, break, yes, good boy. So you can also pay him into that position. If you guys watch a replay of that, he stopped, he looked, and then I broke him. So I'm paying him by that calm, hey, let me know when I can go. He just doesn't know break yet. But at that moment, you can also pay him for staying as well. So we're gonna throw this together. We're gonna throw together the crate, and then we're gonna throw together uh, the stay command. And uh, it, this is what it should look like after about 10, 15 minutes. Again, now he's starting to be food motivated, so it's a little bit easier. Yes, buddy, crate. Good crate. So holding on to that leash, stay. Ah, good stay, buddy. Okay, break, perfect job, good job. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go back to the place and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go then to the door. And this is like the first thing I would do with any new dog, doesn't matter if they're fearful or not, teaching them boundaries and thresholds. Now this is something that we go over in detail in my No Bad Dog Kickstarter course. The link is in the description below if you guys wanna purchase it. It's basically this times eight other, maybe 10 other things that I say, this is what creates those aggressive dogs that you see on my channel, the lack of these things. So the next step, thresholds at the door. We're gonna give them a 10 minute break, put them back into the impact crate, let them chill out. We're gonna get them right back out. This is the outside door, so if you guys have a dog that really is pushing boundaries, you might want to start with an interior door because he already knows that on the other side of this is outside and fun and snow and all that stuff. So I'm just ah. going to work on a stay here and then we're going to ah. break him out. Good stay. Ah, ah. I went up to this door and I wanted to pay him externally with the food for staying before he goes out. Wanted nothing to do with the food. That's where your only reward-based systems will go out the window. The currency outside will override your value system almost immediately. That's where a lot of people get in trouble, get frustrated, it's not working. That's why. You gotta have that balance, you gotta have that correction and that leash pressure to keep him in. Nice, break. Good boy. He's doing amazing. From where he was probably close to an hour ago of not taking any food, not hanging around me at all, being fearful, but again, like what worked? Helping him break down these things. So I'm gonna roll all this in together. We're gonna see how he does. We're gonna go into the place. We're gonna go into the crate and we're gonna go into the door. Duke, stay. Good stay. Okay, break. Yes, good man. Good place. Good place. Nice work. Good. Nice work, buddy. Duke, stay. Nice stay, buddy. Okay, break. Well done. Well done. All right, you guys, absolutely amazing stuff from this guy. It's an absolute pleasure being here with, with him and you guys here on YouTube. Make sure you guys leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. A lot of you guys that are watching our videos aren't subscribed. You guys can support us by simply hit that subscribe button so you see videos like this every single week. Again, uh, the course that I was mentioning earlier about the next steps, teaching this dog heel, teaching this dog down, teaching this dog sit, all that stuff is in the, the link below as well. And to uh, find interest or some information about him to potentially adopt this puppy, will be also in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you next time.